truck. I walk around. Oh, somebody didn't like to say that, did they? The steering is not locked. Yeah, it was all over the place. So I don't know, maybe you could do a lockout and just lock the steering? Maybe. I think so. I horrible paint job. Yeah. It's got damage on every angle. I'm going to walk down and get a video of the parking lot that we took it from. So Ripley's Mirror Maze here in Gatlinburg called us and said that this vehicle with Michigan tax was parked in their employee parking. So I just want to grab a quick video of where it was. Here, this isn't even a parking spot. Hello, hey. this one that was here. Yes, ma'am. All right, I don't even. This isn't even a parking spot, is it? No, nope. it's no. Yeah. Didn't think so. Okay, <laughs> well, so much, we've got. It. It. Let us know if you need anything else. We'll do All right, you thank you. You too. truck. Can't park there. Anything else to say on that one? Oh, um, I believe we're being recorded. Don't tell me, bro, I'm a subscriber. <laughs> Hi, I got you. <laughs> a subscriber. A subscriber. Hello from North Carolina. The, uh, uh, the, the lot guy there who parked right across. I mean, they're half a block away from paid parking. <laughs> he, uh, he said, he goes, all they had to do was was come down here or something. I can't remember what he said. Pay to park. Something crazy. Pay to park. I said, I know. They're like, you know, they're just right down the road. They're parked. It's, uh, it's, it's crazy, guys. Come on, man. You, you gotta just pay. Just pay to park. 
I don't understand. I mean, there was a lot back there. There's one yeah. There. There's we one just, here. So within within a block, we passed two paid parking lots. And River Road is all free. All of this over here. All of this is free. Got one pulling out right here. There's a free spot. spot back there. It is a big truck. But they park it wasn't even a parking spot that they parked in. Yeah, I know you uh I guess you got video of the Yes, I did. Not even a parking spot. And there's signs everywhere over there. Now there was not a sign directly in front of that spot that they parked in, but it wasn't a parking spot. They were blocking their alley entrance. So it wasn't even a spot. So it's one thing to illegal park, but it's a whole nother thing to park, and it's not even a parking spot. So, yeah, I'd imagine we're probably going to get some pushback on this one because they're like, well, there wasn't a sign in front of that spot, but it wasn't a spot. And then, the man, like I said, the manager who called us came out and confirmed that no, it was not a parking spot. And she said, thanks for taking it. So yeah, guys, uh, I, we've gotten a lot of questions and concerns over that. You know, they should be, uh, what if, what if every parking spot had a had a sign? What if every single spot had a sign? Would it would it matter? Uh, they're not even parking spots, in, and they're still parking. So, kind of answers some of those questions, I guess. Anyway, we'll get this one back to the lot and wait for a phone call. So stay tuned. Everything auto. Uh, yes, you guys just picked up a truck, um, downtown Gallenberg, um, let's see, I'm near the river, well, it was near the river, Terrence, um, what is this called right here again? The Mermaids, Marvelous Mermaids? Uh, yes, ma'am, you got the, the Ford pickup truck, the black? Yeah, the, the black Ford pickup truck. We walked away for a minute and... <laughs> um, yeah, they, they called us for removal. You were blocking an alleyway. You weren't even in a parking spot, but yeah, you were... Um, it, was, it was near a, a garbage anyways. Yes, what do we need to do to get it back? Can you bring it back to us or what? how does that work? No, ma'am. You'd have to be the registered owner for pickup. So as long as your ID matches the registration, we can release the vehicle back to you. It'll have to be picked up at our impound lot, 221 Newman Road, Gatlinburg. Okay, I'm gonna let you talk to my husband. I'm happy to let you get it. Hey, what's up? Hey, yeah, this is uh, this is Jeff, Everything Auto. Uh, the truck has to be picked up by a registered owner. ID matches the registration for the release. Um, it, okay. is, it is at our impound lot at 221 Newman Road in Gatlinburg. Um, well, yeah. how do I get there? Uh, well, you'd have to catch a ride, a cab, Uber, Lyft. How far are you away from here? Uh, in, a, in a vehicle, you're probably about 10 minutes, but as far as walking, it would be quite a bit longer than that. Okay, so now what do I got to do? Get a taxi or something? Yeah, you'd have to get a cab, Uber, Lyft, something like that over to... How much is it to get out? Uh, it's... Holy Okay, now wait a minute. Why would they tow it when there was no, it didn't say nothing about no parking in there? Uh, sir, you were you weren't even in a parking spot. You you were blocking the alley. It wasn't even a parking spot. Oh, I didn't see that. Okay. Okay, where are you at, man? Uh, it's two. What's the name of it called? Two twenty one Newman Road. N e w m a n Newman Road. Okay. Um, and I have to know you're coming that way. It's the weekend. We don't keep anybody at the lot. So if you can. We're on our way. And we need the truck. We got to go home. Okay. We're on our way home. Okay. I understand. I, I'm going to be. I'm going to be probably. Two to three. I got to get me somebody to give me a ride there. Okay. As soon as I can, I got to figure out now how I'm going to get a ride. Okay. Well, once you secure a ride and, and um, just give us a call back and let you and let us know that you're going to be at the gate. We're going to be we're going to be a couple hours before we're back over at the gate. What? So I got to wait there a couple hours? Uh, well, I mean, it's either that or pick it up Monday through Friday, eight to five. I'm, I'm as soon as I hang up the phone, I'm going to get a taxi to take me there. Well, what I'm telling you is okay. we don't we don't keep anybody at the lot on the weekend, so that's why I'm asking. I, we're trying to arrange time for the pickup. I well, we're going to be there in about 15, 20 minutes. Well, I'm telling you, I don't have anybody there in 15, 20 minutes. It's going to be two hours. So what's the soonest I'm going to be seeing you? In two hours. So 530? Uh, that, sounds, that sounds about right, yes. Oh, you don't 
you and have it hooked up right now? You just meet me and I just pay you? I, it's in our impound lot. I don't, and like I said, we, right. we we just don't keep anybody there on the weekend. Normally, it's it's Monday through Friday for the pickups. But I'm trying to I'm trying to work with you if you're. Shit, I got a trailer up in uh, Park Vista that's unhooked. They're gonna pull that out of there too if I don't get this truck. Okay, uh, probably shouldn't have parked that there either. It sounds like. I know. Well, I was only coming down here for a minute to pick up some. I walked in the store and it came back out. We've been looking for it for the last almost hour. Yeah, I mean, it, it was there for an hour before we picked it up. Uh, so. All right. I must have just missed you then. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah, try to secure your ride over to the lot and just give us a call when you're, when you're thinking that you can be there. Well, I'm going to get one right now. Okay. So I guess if I got to wait, I got to wait there. Okay, we'll be we'll get over to okay. the lot just as quickly as we can. Okay. Right. I was on the phone with them, sitting there screaming, and I don't even know where the f you're at. I said, I'm so sorry. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hey, what's your address? Uh, it's two twenty one Newman Road, Gatlinburg. Two 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 one three twos. No, two twos. Two two one. <laughs> Okay, two two one. Uh, what was the name of the street again? Newman, N E W M A N. Yes, um, uh, he wanted to know the street, and I didn't remember it. Okay, let me call him back. Okay, bye. Auto. Hey. Yeah. Hey, this is. You guys got my truck over there? Uh, yes, sir. And yeah, and uh, we're gonna be there at five o'clock. Okay, we'll have somebody there soon. Okay, so uh, make it around 515 so we know we're okay. Okay, sounds good. Okay, uh, thank you. Is everything auto? Yeah, hey, my mistake. We're going to be there in 15 minutes. I didn't know how close you were. Okay, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get somebody back there, yes. Okay, we'll be there within 15 minutes. Okay, perfect. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. He do not know when he's going to be here. Anyway, we'll try. Snap into a Slim Jim. Hey, that worked out pretty good. So you are the registered owner? Yeah. You've got keys and... All right, I'll get the truck up here if you got that. Yeah. It's running. There you go, yeah. it's running before the door's open. There's that receipt for that. These new vehicles, man. There's that back. All right, thank you, sir. Yet another happy customer. Okay, guys, back over at the shop, picked up some mail before we headed out to the next call. And I, so listen, guys, this is what I was talking about just last night, how amazing that our uh, YouTube YouTube family is Brian Keith Allen so listen man this is this is the coolest thing ever check this out guys I don't know if you can see got our logo and on the back a full-on t-shirt well hi butters <laughs> that's listen I don't know if I want to wear that or not I don't know if I want to get it dirty like like, we need to like hang that up someplace or something but these wow how thoughtful man that's that's really cool those will definitely go in the uh, in the tow truck and replace some of the uh, the less bright ones that we have I don't know we get them dirty but man I don't want to get it dirty that's so cool <laughs> anyway that's yeah so nice that is very nice and that will go definitely thank you so much Brian that's gosh, that's cool that's just really cool got another package and I've got to say, I'm not quite sure what. I'm guessing they're they're keychains. 
or necklaces? I think they're keychains. It's those little fidget toys. Are they fidget toys? Yeah. Okay, guys, let me get a close up. Uh, they come. I see the little um, keychain or necklace there, and then they're all kind of. Some somebody's gonna smile. I mean, uh, that's awesome. Yeah, we can pass it. That's something different, you know. We got lollipops. We've got cars. We've got um, now we've got some fidget toys. The fidget toys are they're they caught on. You know, there was the spinners and there was all kinds of little things. But we will get those passed out to the youngins. They will love that. And I also had. Um, and, I, and like I said, I don't know who they came from. So whoever you are, was it not you. on the paper? No. Uh. Uh. In inside the package? No. It just come from fulfillment. Uh, Amazon Some, fulfillment. Nothing. And same thing here. No response. No request. The stickers kind of wadded up. I don't see anything on that one either. But thank you guys so much. We got more more cars that we uh, uh, that we oh, can hand awesome. out. And uh, hey, that was a horse of a different color. <laughs> oh, what that is that's pretty cool but anyway guys we will definitely get those uh passed out and get those in the truck so that was just today's uh trip in uh to the mailbox so i can't thank you enough and uh <laughs> brian that that's just really cool that's, that's just really awesome cool. so thank you so much you'll see those uh getting passed out and used on the channel so stick around got more coming your way uh, one more thing before we hop back in the truck to our next call uh, Preston Gray, uh, sorry we missed you. He called for a lockout earlier, watches the channel. Coven actually ran over in the service truck and grabbed uh, Preston. So Preston, we appreciate you watching. Sorry I missed you. I know you wanted um, a t-shirt or something like that. So uh, we're gonna try to get back out to, uh, to Preston and, and grab him a t-shirt or, or a hat. So, uh, but we appreciate the business and uh, we're off to the next one. Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. We are in uh, Big White today. We've got a little bit of a issue here with a high top van and a camper pulled over here to the dump station and um, having some trouble. So we're gonna see if we can uh, get the van on the bed and the uh, camper on the stinger. See if we can get these folks back out of the national park here. So stick around, this might be a cool load. So this parking lot is, it's, it's got a fine layer of really good stuff on it. So, I, I'm, yeah, I would have paid, I, I don't know, I'd have paid an unlimited amount of money. But I had that thing because Randy dropped it off to me and I was able to get that thing off of the rollback, I rolled, off the rollback and I rolled it out and was able to 
get underneath their van because I had to put it into uh, I had to put it into neutral. The linkage cable was broken, so we couldn't do it from the normal traditional way. So I had to crawl under and get things into neutral so I could get the van loaded up. And I'm here to tell you that mat, that mat was like a golden, was the golden ticket. You like, were so that was happy. The red carpet. <laughs> you were so happy to have that mat to lay on, so you didn't have to lay in yuck water. I was telling Kristen, I said, I said, oh, please don't make me lay down on this. <laughs> and she says, remember, Randy bought you the mat. And my, that was instant smile. <laughs> instant. So I, uh, yeah, I don't smell like poo water. So <laughs> thanks, Randy. We appreciate it. I had to mention that though. So just know this thoughtfulness of our YouTube family. You guys, you guys are amazing. You, mm -hmm. you really, uh, you think about stuff that sometimes I don't think about, and that's uh, not every day you got to lay to lay down in a in a scummy poop water film <laughs> to put a van in neutral. Uh. But today was that day, so thank you, Randy. I appreciate you from the backside and the bottom of my heart. <laughs> Stick around. We still got to unload this thing. These crosswalks guys are just so dangerous. It's like uh, they want to wait until the very last minute and then they'll just dart out. Look at a big truck. Lots of load. So in between the Crown Vic and that red car is where Chip and Chip's transmission works. Giant thing. Uh-huh. We'll see how skilled Chip is. That's where he wants it. That's where he'll get it. <laughs> Want me to go watch? No. You got it. It's there, huh? With this truck in the way, made it kind of difficult.
guys, welcome back to the channel. We are headed to Rhododendron Lane for a, uh, a vehicle off the driveway. Let's we'll see if we can get them taken care of. While I'm on my way over here, I wanted to give a a, uh, a quick shout out to Ann at Lowe's. She's a checkout gal. Says she, we were just at Lowe's buying some things that we needed, and she said, "I love you guys. We we I watch your channel, and um, uh, that means a lot to us, Ann. So I just wanted to give a quick shout out to uh, to her and, and say thank you again." Uh, we also had uh, Miss Allie Lindsay. Uh, she is a retired actress and lives in Gatlinburg and always calls us for all of her towing needs. And uh, Miss Allie, we uh, we appreciate you. And she's given us full permission to stop by anytime and and grab some, uh, some sweet tea if we're in the Gatlinburg area looking for a place to to hang out. So we will take you up on that sometime there, Miss Allie. And we appreciate you. It's very sweet. That is very sweet. firsthand here at Everything Autos. Um, anyway, on a not so bright note, I wanted to uh, I wanted to address something. So we got a I got a one star review, I don't know, half hour ago, for not responding to a call for a lockout service. Uh, whoever you are in the world, we've got the picture of it in some place. I'll get it posted up here. But I can I cannot physically. So we're we're the smallest company in the area. It's it's me and my wife. We run around and we get what we can. Sometimes I'm in the mountains and uh, don't get cell phone service. And if I don't get service, then phone calls and text messages, things like that, just don't come through at all. Um, so I, for whatever reason, you want to leave me a one one star review because I didn't come and unlock your car and, or didn't answer the phone. Some people, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm here to uh, to take care of your every need at any given time. We try. We do try. I've even got a world PD rotation, and sometimes I don't have signal for in the national park and can't respond to PD calls, and those are priority. Priority. But uh, yeah, just for just to leave me that one star for that is. Uh, Ah, I don't know who you are. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, we have wonderful YouTube family that sure. knows better. <laughs> they know better. Anyway, guys, we're we're headed up. We uh, got a little crash on the yeah, on, dash on the dash cam too. We'll get that uploaded. The danger. Okay, guys. Uh, sorry for the shaky video, but I wanted to go over that uh, accident that we caught on uh, camera there. Uh, from earlier here we got the dash cam sorry it's kind of shaky it bounces my truck rides like a log wagon but I'm coming up on the intersection here and I just want to talk about the importance of yeah just watch when people flag you across you still have to you still have to look so over here in the very corner you're gonna notice there's a white minivan that's waiting to cross and it's thank goodness he waited for the truck instead of the dump truck that come through because that would have been bad so two lanes of traffic he wants over here into the turn lane he's sitting here waiting to cross uh tries to go once i think there's the truck that who thank goodness didn't get him uh they may have been going a little fast in the turn lane but he uh inches his way across um yeah he's gonna go there and then the jeep stops here he comes and then lo and behold Oh, gets him right there in the turn lane. So, and then another big thing is don't leave, guys. I don't know why he's pulling away from the accident. You you really should get pictures, and he's running over parts still. But uh, they move vehicles before the they got pictures, and the police got. But anyway, guys, thought I'd share that with you. Be careful out there. Be safe. If you need us, we're always here. The dangers of crossing the parkway with the traffic. Just because somebody flags you out and says, come on, you can go, uh, doesn't mean they're drilling a well up there. So up that way is where the uh, the guy with the trailer full of bikes was. Yeah, so if you watch that video, trailer full of Harleys, 
we're headed about the same area. But anyway, guys, there was a car coming across. People were flagging three lanes of traffic. Say, come on, we left room for you. They went all the way across three lanes to get into a turn lane, and the turn lane didn't get the memo because they uh, they slammed. We'll put the video up. I'm, I'm hoping that the dash cam caught it and I can get it pulled off of there. But I'll get that video posted for you guys too. Don't trust people on the parkway that flag you out, guys. Look for yourself. You you, you just have to. You have to be careful. You can't trust everybody that tells you to do something. Well, I think what he did was um, he the two lanes were stopped and then the turn lane, there was no one in the turn lane and he didn't look and he just went for it. I don't know if they're up there. 1912 is the address. That's 1905. This is exactly where we got the Harley. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see here. This is up this way. Oh, right there. There we are. Oh boy. I don't know what's up there in front of them. Well, I don't either. It, like, it just like blends in with the, with the surroundings. It's very hard to see on the camera. Well, hopefully there's a tree up there. Okay. I'll go get some stuff set up, I guess, in the hopes that there is a tree. It looks a little warm. It's uh, probably not. It only says it's 62. I envision myself doing a lot of climbing, though. Are we sure this is a front wrench job? Hopefully it's a front wrench job. You gonna walk up there? I don't. It's steep. Well, yeah, she definitely can't go backwards. Definitely have to go forward. Oh, going down. It's kind of steep over there. Should be able to snatch block off that tree. How you doing? How you doing good? How are you? My wife is. I didn't drive. It was my wife driving. That wasn't you. This and she's time a better about. driver than me. I'm pretty good. But I, I you know, I, I say to her and I wink. She's a better driver than me. You know. But uh, she was going. I never. You've been up and up. You've been here for like three days. Uh -oh, yeah. And she went backwards. And I never liked her going backwards. This way. So you can go this way. This way. Yeah. I mean, there's a, spot, there's a parking spot in the side. You know, doesn't have to get wiggle around. Yeah, wiggle and wiggle. I mean, she didn't last. And then, and I'm like, and then it started like like sliding. I'm like, uh oh, stop. Yeah. Bobby. Yeah, that's well. She she did very well because that could have ended very badly. I know. Uh, I would imagine it'd probably roll over pretty easy. Oh yeah. That. Yes. 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 Do I have a good tree? That's my next question. That one's good. Probably that plus would work. So what do you do? You just like grab onto a tree? And yeah, hopefully get it back this way. Um, so it'll pin me. Here's my fabulous driver. <laughs> Hello, fabulous driver. All right, so professionals are here. Ah, uh, well, I don't know about that. But. <laughs> All right, so listen. If I was to put my my floor mats right there, what would happen? Would I would have been able to get some some traction? It would have. It would have slung your floor mat out, and you probably would have went further back. You're all trying to kill me. <laughs> Y'all trying to kill time. me. So this is normal. Anyone can do this, right? This oh, is not this, because I'm an idiot. This happens uh, several times a day. Okay, so I, yeah. ap apologize. <laughs> what do you have to say to me? I drove the entire 10 hours from Florida. I drove. Okay. While you slept and snored and listened to podcasts. Then, all the night time, no, all the night time, we came up here at 11 o'clock at night, couldn't she jack no. I went up to their driveway, yeah. couldn't turn around, got down. So I was up in that driveway just a couple of weeks ago. Some uh, big Harley Rider guys had the idea that they were going to take a dually with their trailer and five or six bikes in the back of it. And they were going to take it up that driveway and it slid back and off. So we were so on that one there. Yeah, we oh were right there. God. We had to winch a dually and a trailer off of that. Oh, that's fantastic. longer. Right? Oh, yeah. That's a longer and So what do you suggest right? with this? Yeah. How long? What do you think? It's, uh, hopefully I can get some stuff set up. The problem is I need a tree and that one is, uh, not very desirable. I'm going to try to put the whole bottom of it. We just need to get you pulled back over this way. Yeah. Uh, we'll get some stuff set up and, and get it pulled. 
we'll make it happen. We'll get it up All here. Right. Um, I'll, I'll just I'll just be a little bit on getting some stuff. Yeah, yeah. 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 we're waiting for sandwiches. sandwiches. So, would you like me to call them and to bring you one? Will oh, that drop the price? I, I, just, <laughs> I just came from there actually. Nice. But, we're waiting for Jimmy John's because uh, not Jimmy John's, whatever Jersey Mike's. I figured if we're hungry. We gotta wait. Yeah. Let's eat. Yeah. So, no, it, it, it does. You guys, it happens. Well, you can see we're standing here. Um, you what day will it rain? This is like four. This is yeah. Like, so it's gonna rain tomorrow. Now. I would We're probably leaving. leave it down there tomorrow. It's We're leaving. This black top asphalt gets so slick. That's generally when we're up all night because we're off on the ring. Okay, so if we... So where would I leave it? Just right down in the I would just get there. right at the very end of the driveway. Just pull in some cars yeah. to get by. That's and, what and be tonight. careful watching and walking. Nah, we're going to wear our Try clothes. to get your luggage tonight. tonight. Yeah. Rain is a bad yeah. thing. Rain in these... I think it's going to rain tonight, though. We still gotta drive and get off the mountain, so I gotta be in the morning. I just gotta be very slow, yes. keep it in low gear, and yes. just go very slow. Yeah, it, it's. Uh, I could get down here in the rain because my foot's on the brake. My problem was I was looking at the rear view camera instead of using my eyes that are amazing, yeah. and I was like, oh. And so I, either, so. Right. So I'm just gonna do what I know, like I've been doing for the past four days that you've been alive. <laughs> Okay, you've been alive for four days. I've kept you alive. I fed you. I've taken care of business. I've driven you all around Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg, See? everybody's your sister's horse, your mother's express, all over. Real, you left for nothing. It was coming right at us. We live in Tampa Bay. Oh no. All right, thank you. I'll be in there if you need anything. We live in North Tampa. North Tampa, about 30 minutes north of Tampa to see. And I have my I ring the doorbell service and I can see nothing is happening on my neighbor. One left, this guy at the state, and I have a contact with him. He goes, We're good. Nothing ever happened. We got a strong wind and rain, no flooding. I got, I, I mean, I went and got bags, sandbags, put it in the back of an eye, and nothing. We just, he said, You lose power? He goes, No. So we're afraid of losing power, you know, uh, flooding. Where were you? We're just worried about that. And, and uh, uh, nothing happened, you know. And, uh, and, yeah, yeah, and and my four, my my sister, my mother, and, and Saint Petersburg, they left. And they were told me, and I said, Come on. And they were like, we're going to go land. And they came with there. <laughs> but they uh, called me. They said they're fine. They're back home. Well, that's good. They're back home, that's and everything's thing. fine by me. By my house, thank God. It's just what a level for my. Um, yeah. We can, we can um. Hopefully, I can go. I don't know if I want to turn around and be back into front winch. So, what's the plan? You can pull it forward? Yeah, there's a tree right over here on the side of the cluster of trees. I'm going to try to get there. So that, you don't think it'd be easier to grab both these trees and pull yeah. them over the cluster? It probably would, yeah. Um, that way now you can pull it up. We should come right up there.
Yeah, hold on to the back just in case. <laughs> okay. Okay guys, got some snatch box to some trees. Let's see what'll happen.
believe I can get it turned from there. We'll get her backed out of here and and uh, get her headed back down the driveway. Get some stuff unhooked. You were uh, what you were in here. Jeff, knock the camera down. Okay. So she backed down and just got a back tire off. It's super easy to do. Back tire was here. Yeah. Front tire was there. Right there yep. So yeah, just a nice gentle sideways pull and came right out yeah it, yeah she went through, yeah, this way and it slid yeah it slid super easy yeah do. with this and it's it's slippery yeah it's it's like yeah. loose loose yeah. yeah yeah but i mean you stopped before you ended up over there yeah. you saw the logs so he said hey stop so yeah worked out well I'm glad the log was there because i'll probably yeah yeah um if you do talk to the cabin owners just ask them to put some tall reflectors here just something that you can see from your back glass that's a good idea you know, two bucks at Lowe's or Home Depot. They put them in there, you know. Yeah. Yeah, those are three or four. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, just something you can see from your back glass. Because yeah. the backup cameras don't really show depth. Right. Super steep. It is. Right, yeah, you can't see the, the angle on the camera. It's it's so it's so it's like it does, oh, yeah.
Lenny, nice well, to meet you nice guys. Meet, What's your uh, name? Kristen. Kristen. Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Yeah. 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 No, we appreciate I'll, I'll get that. Your, your YouTube and all this. Yeah. Awesome. You yeah, guys, in it, I'll tell people you're in the area. Come and see you guys. All you guys. <laughs> you know? Thank you. Yeah. You know, yeah. get your viewers, get your viewers up too. Yes. Yeah. We get, we get up on the, on the channel and, and hopefully, yeah, it takes a little bit to build that stuff, but little by little, you know. Yeah. It is. It's not. A, it's not easy. It's, Little by little. Rome is not built in a day. People like to see yes. this crazy stuff, believe it or not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, they, things happen like when this would happen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it does. Well, tell the missus, uh, have fun and try to relax. I'm going to get some sandwich now. The sandwich time. Sandwich time. Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's. <laughs> oh, it's the other one. Uh, Jersey Mike's. Jersey Mike's. Hey, that's, that's the same. That's good. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day.